Bollard detail. A bollard is a visual barrier, often in the form of a short post, used to direct and control traffic. The proposed site development will use bollards in parking lots and other locations to prevent vehicle access to restricted areas. A bollard detail is needed to define installation specifications for bollards used in the project. In this lesson, you will create a bollard detail adding this to an existing set of standard details. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn place half ellipse, be spline by points, AccuDraw. Continuing in the design file, site plan details, DGN, create a new model using the following. For the type, design 2D, Let's give this the name Bollard. For the description, Bollard Detail. And for Ref Logical, Bollard Detail. In the Annotation Scale section, set the Annotation Scale to 1 inch equals 1 foot and enable Propagate. In the Cell Properties section, enable Ability to Place as Cell. Click OK when finished. Set the active level as detail 02, and for color, line style, and line weight, set this to by level. In view attributes, verify that level overrides is not enabled. Place a rectangular block that is 24 by 48. Place a second block to represent the bollard 8 inches by 90 inches, offsetting this 8 inches by 12 inches from the lower left corner of the first block. Hint, as needed, set AccuDraw to rectangular coordinate readout using the M mode shortcut. The shortcut works as a toggle, toggling between rectangular and polar coordinate readouts. This will assist in creating the XY offset. Next, we're going to be placing the top of the bollard. In the placement ribbon group, pick Place Half Ellipse. Using AccuSnap, begin placing the ellipse at the upper corner of the bollard with a data point. You will be prompted to enter any point on the ellipse. Move your cursor to this location using AccuSnap to precisely locate the midpoint. Press O to activate the AccuDraw Origin shortcut. The compass will appear at the snap point. Move the cursor vertically and key in 3, accepting this location with a data point. Place a data point at this location to complete the half ellipse. Place line segments at each of the locations as illustrated. All right, we'll begin placing these line segments here in the upper left corner. We'll snap to this endpoint here, coming straight out to the left, 30 inches. For the second line, we'll start in the upper right corner, snapping to this endpoint, coming straight out to the right, 32 inches. Now for the second set of lines, we're going to offset these by 12 inches from this first set of two lines. So using AccuSnap, we'll set the origin going in a downward direction, 12 inches. And this is where we'll start our third line coming out here, 26 inches. All right, like we just did that last line, we're going to offset this 12 inches in the downward direction and coming straight out 34 inches. Next, we'll be placing pattern boundary limit lines. 
from the placement ribbon group, pick B spline by points and set the following. For the method, control points, input by, points, AccuDraw, closure, set to open, order, set this to four. Place a series of B spline curves similar to what is shown here. Hint, these lines are temporary boundaries for pattern placement. Use at least five to six points for each B spline curve, zooming in as needed to assist in placing the points. The curves do not need to match exactly, but rather some creative license may be used here. All right, so now we're going to be trimming the bollard details. From the Home tab, in the Modify Ribbon group, pick Trim Multiple. Select Cutting Elements by clicking and dragging a rectangular selecting boundary from this location to this location. You will be then prompted to identify the elements to trim. Pick the portion of the block located between the vertical lines of the bollard. This portion of the block is deleted. Press reset when complete. Take note, as needed, you will continue to delete any remaining geometry. You now have constructed the required geometry for the bollard detail. In this exercise, you learned how to place a half ellipse, B spline curves, and further enhance your mastery of AccuDraw. Using the right tool for the job at hand is an essential part of being a skilled craftsman. An awareness of what tools are available and how to use them is what makes this possible. It can also increase productivity, efficiency, and accuracy. Your work in MicroStation is not any different. In this lesson, your knowledge of MicroStation placement commands was enhanced through the use of the place half ellipse and be spline by points commands that were used to create the bollard detail. Additional drawing tools, challenge exercise, accessibility symbol detail. You have now learned the workflows and processes in this course. If you would like to challenge yourself, you can find in the additional drawing tools PDF workbook that is included with the data set two challenge exercises. Take note that challenge exercises are not part of these video series. In the first challenge exercise, you will be constructing an international symbol of accessibility detail, adding this to an existing set of standard details. Additional drawing tools, challenge exercise, concrete curb detail. In the second challenge exercise, you will be constructing a concrete curb detail adding this to an existing set of standard details. Again, the challenge exercises are not part of these video series. However, they can be found in the additional drawing tools PDF workbook that is included with the data set. So, where do you go from here? Be sure to log in to the Bentley Learn server at learn.bentley.com. Here, you will find a wealth of learning paths for all of our software products. The next course in the learning path, the MicroStation Connect edition, Basics for Civil Designers, is Manipulating and Modifying Elements. Covered in this course will be the Element Selection Tool, Element Manipulation, Precision Placement via AccuDraw, Utilize AccuDraw Shortcuts, Trimming. So, Enroll and immerse yourself in manipulating and modifying elements. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.